heard. As I'm looking towards Manhattan, towards New York, I see the beauty of the skyline and the new World Tower that has replaced the World Trade Center that was destroyed 9-11-2001. I'm looking and I see Father, a place that looks so beautiful and yet it looks like a gold cage where people are trapped inside of the New World Order. And that's the reason why today the tower is called the New World. And the train station is called the Oculus or the all-seeing eye, all masonry. And the new tower is like an obelisk, just like the obelisk in Washington DC and in Williamsburg and other places. And I see Father that the enemy has set up New York as the center of the New World Order, as the center, the center of the ruling of the anti-Messiah. And Father, millions of people are trapped inside of the center. Millions of people are trapped without knowing better and they don't know from the right or to the left, just like in Nineveh. They didn't know from the right and to the left. They don't know what is coming. And I plead with you tonight as a Jew, as an Israeli and an American, that in wrath you will remember mercy. Father, because I know that this, is, this, this new world order tower is like a, a steeple that is poking you in the eye, it's like a tower of Babel, but it's beautiful. And it is so beautiful because the enemy always disguises himself as an angel of light. And yet the people are trapped within it. Millions of people are enamored with it, but it's like a covenant with death. And in the name of Yeshua, Father, I pray that you have mercy on the people that belong to you, that both Jews and Christians and Gentiles that belong to you those that are predestined for your glory, that you will rescue them and that you will have mercy on them and that in wrath you will remember mercy. There are millions trapped. And I pray that you will remember here, just like you remember Egypt, you remember Assyria because those are places that helped to build your people Israel. Because even though we were slaves in Egypt and we are right before Passover right now, we were slaves in Egypt and yet you used Egypt to preserve us and to build us up as a people. We became numerous in Egypt. And there also you, you sent Yeshua to be guarded in Egypt before King Herod because he wanted to kill him when he was a boy, a little boy. And Lord, you've used Egypt to preserve us and to preserve the Messiah. And therefore even today you're remembering Egypt because Isaiah 19 says, blessed be Egypt, my people. Assyria, the work of my hands, and Israel, my inheritance. And so you remember Egypt, you remember Assyria from which Abraham came, and even though ISIS is right now trying to annihilate the people of Assyria, especially the Christians, but everyone they can that does not convert to, to Islam, oh Father, you're remembering Assyria, yes. because Abraham came from Assyria, yes. and because Rebecca came from Assyria to marry Isaac. And in the name of Yeshua, Father, you're also remembering today New York. Because there were 22 families that landed here when the Dutch were here. And somehow, in spite of the rejection, and yet they were officially accepted. And your Jewish people that were being massacred because of the Spanish Inquisition and because of the persecutions in Europe, your Jewish people found an asylum here even though it may have not been perfect and there was discrimination but yet they could hide from the horrors of Europe and they could build a life here and you preserve us as a nation.